Hey guys, so today I am going to be filming my April favorites video. I love watching favorites videos because I just think it's fun to see what kind of products people have been loving lately and it also gives me ideas on what new products I should go and check out. Favorites videos do tend to be on the longer side and I don't want to make this a 20 minute video so let's get started. Starting off with beauty products, my favorite mascara at the moment is my Benefit Roller Lash. It has this really thin brush and it just separates my lashes perfectly and goes on really easily and I just love it so much plus it has cute packaging so that's great and this was $24 at Sephora. My next favorite is an eyeshadow and it's the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Ice Latte and I recently picked this up. It's just this shimmery champagne color and it's very creamy and very pigmented and I'm wearing it right now as a base and I just think it's the perfect base color with like a matte brown in the crease. That's how I've been wearing it and I would definitely recommend it. It's around six or seven dollars. I've had this for a couple months now and this is my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and I actually just started like really getting into this palette. For eyes, I've loved using the color Foxy on my lid and the color Naked 2 in my crease and it's a really simple eye makeup look and it's really easy and really fast. But the thing I've been using it most for recently is filling in my eyebrows. You see, I've never really filled in my eyebrows. I probably needed to and I do need to because my eyebrows are a mess. But um, I just decided to start off with using eyeshadow first because I just want to kind of ease into it. Maybe later on I'll buy an actual product. But I've been using Naked too, just putting it on a brush and filling them in and it just makes them look really natural and adds a bit of color. So I've been loving this so much. Definitely go check out this palette it's around $28 and you can get so much use and do so many things up with it my next favorite is a lipstick and this is my Revlon skyline pink and it's just this really light pink color as you can tell it's really light and really pretty I think it's part of their like pearl collection but it's so pretty at first I was kind of hesitant because I thought it might be too light almost concealer like but I've gotten used to it it's perfect it's so pretty and I put this on my lips almost every single day this was probably around like $6, but I'm not sure. On top of my lipstick, I've been wearing my NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee, and I know this is really popular, but I love this lip gloss. It's a really pretty pink nude look, and it goes on really easily and stays on for a few hours, and I love it, and this was only $4, and I like using these two products together to create a really pretty natural pink lip look. Moving on to fashion, I just have a few clothing items to show you guys, so I'm just going to get into that. Recently, I've been wearing more like just basic tees with like jewelry or just like basic clothing that's comfy but still cute. And I don't know, I just have a few shirts to show you that I've been loving and also to kind of give you a sneak peek into my style. So I have two of the same shirts and these are both from H&M. They're the same exact one. Um, I have it in black. As you can see, and it just has this little front pocket. I love these shirts. Um, and then this one is just a white one with black stripes. Shirt from Brandy Melville. This one's actually just a tank top, and I've been loving really cute tank tops now that it's springtime. This one is just a ribbed black and white striped tank top, and that was like $15, I believe. The next shirt is this halter top from Forever 21. I know it looks like a Brandy Melville shirt, and it was from Forever 21, and I think this was $12, and it's cropped, so this is super cute, especially with jeans. I've been wearing this cardigan a lot lately. This one's just from JCPenney, and it was around like $15, I believe, and it's super cute, and it's really like nice and cozy and long. I've also been loving to put my bomber jacket from Brandy Melville over the shirt and this was like $40. I know, kind of expensive, but it's super cute and I really wanted a bomber jacket in my wardrobe. I just have a few other random items to show you and I'm just going to show you some of those right now. The first thing is my Body Shop Body Butter. This one is in the Vineyard Peach scent. I got this recently and I've used almost half of it and it Smells so good and I like putting this on my legs after showers and it just, oh my gosh, it makes my legs feel so smooth. I've had this body spray for such a long time, probably like three years now, but this is the Victoria's Secret Love Spell one. It just smells like cherry blossom and peach, that's what it says. It's just really fruity. I've just been spraying this on as I'm running out the door for school and it's not too expensive for Victoria's Secret stuff. It's like $12, $15? If you follow me on Instagram, then you would have already seen this, but I made a pretty big purchase recently, and that is on my Michael Kors wallet. I think that this is called their Continental Jet Zip wallet, but don't quote me on this, and it's just 
black and silver. This was $138 and so yeah, that's really expensive plus there was tax. But I really love this. Um, it's so cute and I haven't ever had any designer wallets or anything. So I'm really excited about this and I've been carrying it around a bunch. I don't have a physical item, but I do have my ticket. But my last favorite for this video is the movie The Longest Ride. The guy was super hot. It was such a great movie. I cried three times. Um, it was just like another Nicholas Sparks movie. So if you like movies like The Notebook or Dear John or The Lucky One, then you'll definitely like this movie. It's actually probably my favorite movie um, for the longest time it's been The Hunger Games, but I think this one actually passed it. Yeah, definitely go see it, but um, that is it for my favorites video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you like favorites videos and want me to do more, and I'll see you next week. Bye!